to uh, the Coin of the Year award show. We are all very glad that you're here and followed our invitation. I think this is of one of the most prestigious events uh, of the year and we are very, very happy to hand over the, the awards of the 10 of the 10 best coins uh, of the industry. On to our first coin. In the most historically significant category, we have uh, a 20 euro silver coin, 175th anniversary of the Vienna Philharmonic from the Austrian Mint. For a little inside uh, information on that, uh, Clifford Mischler, one of the authors of the Standard Catalog of World Coins, nominated this coin uh, because he felt that the worldwide significance of the orchestra was quite grand. Uh, and everyone on the nominating committee agreed with him. So I'd like to ask to the stage, uh, Andrea Lang, head of uh, international marketing and sales, uh, to accept this award. Thank you so much for this wonderful award on behalf of the Austrian Mint and the board members and especially the engravers and the fantastic team who produces these coins. I would like to thank you all for giving this award to the Austrian Mint. I'm a total fan of the Coin of the Year Award. We know that the market needs kind of validation, differentiation, and we see that it's really a boost for our coins after having received a award like that. And um, I hope you carry on in whichever shape or form to do this, uh, give these uh, awards away and to support the industry with, this, um, with doing so. So thank you so much again. We're really honored and proud. Thank you. The next category is a somewhat uh, surprising uh, coin. For best circulating coin, the Central Bank of Mauritania, uh, the trimetallic, uh, I'm going to mispronounce this, but 20 Ugawe, uh, Uguia? Uh, thank you, thank you, Michael. Uh, this coin, uh, there's a series of circulating coins produced for them, uh, and I nominated this coin, as I often do, from some of the smaller uh, central banks and uh, countries, which don't always represent themselves directly to the nominating committee. I don't always expect those coins to win, uh, but the judges felt quite differently, uh, and justly so. Uh, so I'd like to ask uh, a representative from the Monet de Perret, Natalie Pesquet, uh, to come up. Um, Natalie is the uh, director for Central Banks, export director for Central Banks, and she'll be accepting. Thank you. So I'm very proud uh, of this award in the, and to receive it in the name of the Central Bank of Mauritania. Indeed, we are, first of all, very proud that Mauritania trusted uh, Monet de Paris to develop such an innovation because it's the uh, first time a circulating coin with free metal uh, is used by one country in the world like this one. So it's a special technology. And not only this, we did a great job also with our engravers and with the central bank about the design because it was very important in that range as we made the complete range to represent all the culture of that country. So we started really with the artistic aspect, then the specification, and this was a real partnership in between Monet de Paris and the Central Bank of Mauritania. So I am very proud to receive that award in their name, and I thank you very much. When I first saw this coin uh, two years ago, I was quite stunned with the intricacy of the design. And sometimes with the intricate designs, you, it's a little overwhelming and uh, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to perceive the coin. However, this one, you don't have that problem at all. Uh, and I, I felt that uh, it certainly deserves a nomination and a category. Uh, there was some discussion in the, in the nominating committee about this coin, quite a bit of discussion, as to which category. 
Several people wanted it in the silver crown category, uh, but I fought very hard to uh, keep it in the contemporary event category because I felt um, worldwide, you probably can't go past 10 people without knowing that one of them was affected in one way or another by heart surgery, by heart transplant surgery, within their family or their friends or their neighbors. Uh, so I was very, very happy to be able to, to get this going uh, nominated in the uh, contemporary event category and uh, far more happy even the, to see that it won. The South African uh, Mint did a fantastic job and I'd like to ask uh, Richard Stone, uh, the designer of the coin, yeah, to come to the stage to uh, accept the award and say a few words about the process, which I'm very interested in finding out more about. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very proud to accept this award on the behalf of the South African Mint. Uh, thank you also to Crowds of Publications and the, and the judges. I would also like to thank uh, the engraver, Paul Boutis, uh, the illustrator, Carl Jeppe, uh, and also Christine Rue at the South African Mint for believing in this idea. I would also like to thank several um, heart surgeons, which I won't mention by name, who collaborated with us to make sure that the coin is anatomically correct, showing both the circulatory system, digestive system, pulmonary system, and to represent all those organs and all those arteries in less than three millimeters of, of, um, of relief um, was a very satisfying experience, and we're very happy with the coin and very proud to accept this award. Thank you very much. The bimetallic coin category, uh, again to give you a little insight into the, to the nominating committee and the judging panel, is a really, really hotly contested category. There's many, many, many uh, bimetallic coins being produced and very popular uh, collectibles. Uh, and so there's many worthy nominees. Uh, so it always comes down to a little uh, fighting as to which final ten will, will make it to the voting. Um, there was no fighting over this coin. This coin was an immediate uh, uh, assumption by everyone in the group as being a, a real winner for the category and one that would uh, perform well, uh, one that we had a lot of respect for. Uh, as opposed to the last coin, whose intricacy was uh, dazzling to me, the simplicity of this coin's design in representing its message was um, equally stunning. And, uh, and so again, I'm very happy that this was a winning coin in, in the category. And I would like uh, to ask uh, Mark Schwartz from the Monet de Paris, uh, president and CEO, to uh, come forward. Thank you very much. When they asked me a few weeks ago if I would be interested by becoming chairman and CEO of the Monet de Paris, nobody told me I would have to receive prizes, <laughs> like point of the year prizes. So it gives me, of course, great pleasure and a great honor to receive, receive this prize today. Uh, for my first World Monet Fair, it's my first Berlin, actually. I would like to tell you I have a big responsibility in this coin, but to tell you the truth, I bear absolutely no responsibility <laughs> in this. But Monet de Paris does, and Monet de Paris teams does. So if there's any kind of applause, I think it should go to Monet de Paris teams. Uh, we've been issuing coins linked to causes and to charity for several years now. And this uh, commemorative two euro co coin, uh, Fight Against Breast Cancer, is an outstanding ambassador for the great causes we wish to support. As you may know, ethic in our business is one of our aims at Monet de Paris. And for instance, introducing Fair Mind Gold in our program was also a key step. So thank you very much again for this coin of the year. Best gold coin category is, um, again, one that's very contested. Uh, many, many beautiful gold coins produced worldwide every year. Um, 
it's always very difficult to get down to 10 nominees that are that we feel are worthy nominees and, and that we're happy with. Uh, I think um, this coin <laughs> speaks a lot worldwide in a lot of ways. It's a, it is your basic U.S. coin, yes, but some of the themes there are, are uh, have worldwide significance, and I think that's why the judging panel voted as they did quite strongly uh, for this coin. Now, the United States uh, did it for the uh, 225th anniversary of gold coinage, uh, American Liberty, and we're really pleased and, and uh, happy that uh, Mint Director David J. Ryder was able to uh, come to Berlin uh, to accept this award. So I'd like to ask uh, him to come to the stage now, uh, and also Michael too, uh, to accept the award and, and hopefully have a few things to say about the coin. Well, just a couple thoughts. First, to say thank you very much. I've known these gentlemen for a long time, the welfare of money. Mr. Beck, an old, old friend that I just saw just a minute ago. He's, he and I go back a long ways. Uh, but, but an interesting point that I want to bring out, when I first came to the Mint, I asked the staff two specific things. One, I wanted more of those in my office, because uh, I've got bookends and I'm going to have now four in the office. And the globe in the, in the end is something that I really would rather do. Uh, uh, and so I've made that challenge. Uh, but the other thing I did is, years ago, they got rid of the um, title of Chief Engraver at the United States Mint. So I'm happy to announce that one of the first things I did was bring that title back. Uh, Joe Mena, I just recently hired as our Chief Engraver. He's been at the Mint for quite a number of years. It's, he has a lot of interest in this coin and the other, other coin that, uh, that I think we're going to be receiving. But, but anyway, aside from that, I just want to say thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I like the Monte de Paris. I had nothing to do uh, with this, but I'm happy to accept the award for it. <laughs> Take a, a few minutes to look at the design of this coin. The fluidity of it and the, the smooth nature of the character. I had one person tell me that this is a, this is a woman's coin. I said, I don't think so. I think it speaks to everyone. It's a human nature coin. But regardless of how you, how you uh, see it, I don't think you can walk away from looking at it without recognizing its beauty. And uh, therefore, the artistic uh, coin category is the proper place for it and the, and the place in which it, it would see a win. So I would like to uh, ask again Andrea Lang to come back to the stage. Uh, to accept this uh, trophy yeah. and say a few words. Yeah, thank you again so much for another award. I'm really flattered and very proud on behalf of our engravers because I think they do a brilliant job. And I think one of the key um, issues why they have success is that we still employ four people who are dedicated to designing coins um, as much as possible. So I think really they do a great job. And I would like to mention another thing. You heard maybe about our, that we turned 825 years this year and how the Austin Mint came into existence with kidnapping the King of England mm -hmm. and asking for a huge ransom with which um, money the mint was found. And Christopher Waltz, the famous actor who is Austrian, said in an interview there's maybe a reason why Sigmund Freud was an Austrian. <laughs> and if you combine those two things that we might have issues, but I promise you we behave quite well now. Uh, <laughs> we, we have someone like Sigmund Freud who established a good cure for our problems maybe. Uh, so we're okay now. Thank you so much for this award. Quite very much speaks for itself, but since I have to be up here, I'm required to say something about it. So I'll give you some insight that I've gained from some of my good friends at the Monet de Paris. 
this coin in, in a way represents a kind of a different and, and uh, interesting way of designing the coin. Uh, the Excellence series, the French Excellence series is unique in that um, it focuses on, I think, uh, an individual or a, um, a production uh, of some sort or something first and then flows it into a design. It's that kind of process. And so in this case, um, pronunciation, I'm going to have a problem with. <laughs> Guy, Guy Savoy? Savoy. Guy Savoy uh, worked uh, initially with a design. He came forth and told you kind of the uh, different uh, things, the elements that were involved in his art. Uh, and then proposed a, a sort of a design and then worked with our very favorite designer to uh, produce something of, uh, of this kind of quality. So I think this kind of a collaboration is a great thing for the coin industry and uh, a great way to uh, produce coins of, of this nature, which uh, represent in a very uh, simple, straightforward fashion, visually, uh, an entire art form, <laughs> in a sense, I would say. So, uh, to accept this award for uh, uh, the uh, French Excellence Guy Savoy series, I'd like to ask my, my uh, friend, uh, Joaquin Jimenez, which I know I mispronounced again, uh, off to the stage. Joaquin is the director of engraving creation and the artistic director at the uh, foundry of the Monet de Paris. So he's uh, got a lot to do. Yeah, uh, I'm very proud to receive this award. I continue the discussion in French. Uh, <laughs> you want? We uh, raconte une histoire sur une pièce de Monet. Cette histoire est commune et on la crée ensemble. C'est très important pour moi. We, we all count a common story on a coin, and that's a very important thing. Thank you. Just imagine the creation of this coin and uh, uh, the uh, technical challenges that, that uh, came to bear on it. Uh, it's a production that involved a, a number of people, I must say, uh, and that's always a difficulty in the innovative category. Uh, when we uh, invite uh, someone to the stage, I think, uh, uh, as Joaquin had said, it, it involves many, many, many people on down the line doing different things to get something to uh, work. And so in this case, uh, the people who contacted me initially and proposed this coin uh, are the ones who will be accepting the award, but know well that uh, many, many people were involved in, in its production. Uh, it, it is a gorgeous coin. And the innovative category, I must say, is probably uh, one of the most contested of the categories. Certainly. Uh, nowadays, it's getting more and more so because more and more of you are coming up with very innovative techniques uh, and challenging yourselves in, in great ways to uh, design things of significance and also to uh, create things that advance the hobby in many ways. So I would like, uh, on behalf of the Republic of Palau, to ask Antonello uh, Galeta, uh, the director and the CEO, and Luca Golisano, the graphic designer for the coin, uh, to come up. They are from PowerCoin. Hello, everybody. Most of all, you don't know me because um, I'm the founder of a, of a small company based in Rome, Italy. So I'm not a big mint, I'm not a country, not representing a country. I'm just representing a dream. I want to create something that uh, in the coin industry is uh, new, is innovative, and has to do a lot with art. So my dream was to create something never seen before, and this is uh, our best uh, result so far. And uh, my name is Antonello, Antonello Galletta, and I'm the founder of PowerCoin Company. But uh, I cannot do this coin alone, 
So first of all, I, I have to say thank you because I need a mint, and I have to say thank you to BH Mayer Mint from Germany that uh, realized this coin after so many trials and challenges. I have to say thank you also to CIT Coin Invest Trust that uh, are our partners since forever. And they also contributed to make this, this project real. In particular, Orlando, which is my mentor and, uh, and advisor and believed in this project since the first moment. Third thing, I have to say thank you to my wife. Why? <laughs> Not because she, won't, she will get angry when I go home if I don't mention her, but because the real designer of this coin was my wife. She has nothing to do with coin industry. She's not an artist and she is not a graphic designer. But in the spare time, she transformed the Birt of Venus from Botticelli in the form of a mosaic and she showed it to me. And I said, well, it's, it's beautiful, but how can we, what can we do with this design? We stick on a wall or we make something more nice and bigger? So the idea was to create the coin. Well. To make a long story short, we have been working on this coin for something like four or five years because the challenges are really hard. You can imagine there are something like five, more than 5,000 minted tiles to create that mosaic. Uh, it's a really hard challenge. So I still don't believe I'm here to get an award, but uh, here I am for the first time. So hope to see you everybody next year as well. <laughs> coin and, and wonder why is this coin winning the best crown category and and that's a fair question it uh, it's not your typical crown in in a lot of ways uh, but design wise it fits all the criteria for the category and interesting enough uh, when the nominating committee met uh, there's three coins in the set and they were brought up the other two coins have more crown-like characteristics, but this was the one that everyone turned back to and kept uh, feeling that uh, deserved a nomination. But I don't honestly think that anyone expected it to win. And I really don't think that uh, the people involved in designing the coin, though they take a great pride in it and uh, are very happy with what they've done, expected it to win. However, here it is, and the, the judges have spoken, so to speak. Uh, I think uh, it's a very striking coin, a very interesting coin. Uh, it's in a three-piece set that's a very popular set that I believe uh, sold very, very well. And so I would uh, like to ask uh, my friend Dennis Lorenz uh, from uh, CIT, the head of the marketing division, to uh, come up and accept this coin. I just found out yesterday that uh, Dennis and I both have something in common. He spent time in Wisconsin as well as I. So, Dennis, yeah, please come on. First of all, I'd like to uh, say that we are very honored and proud uh, to receive that award, of course. And um, as one of the younger uh, people in the crowd, um, I just want to say something about the um, Coin of the Year Award in general. I can tell you it's very important uh, to the industry as a whole, especially to attract young people, because young people like to compete. And um, so this is something, winning an award and, and um, putting an award to a coin gives something, uh, gives a tangible value to a coin that um, is oftentimes lost among, uh, among young people because the, the whole industry is a little abstract at times, difficult to understand for young people. So this, this award is a, is a great way to, to uh, attract the younger crowd to the numismatic hobby. Um, then with increasing competition, um, the industry constantly pushes forward, developing new technologies. But I firmly believe that despite all the new technologies, one of the most important um, uh, things in the process of, of uh, developing a coin is um, to have creative designers that have a vision and um, for this coin my colleague Bruno Berger he's a he's a very creative guy he came up with the idea and um, I want to congratulate him especially he unfortunately could not make it um, to the ceremony um, but um, congratulations to Bruno then lastly I want to of course thank BH Meyer Mint for their um, 
unconditional support over the years and their um, just perfection that is um, leaves us uh, speechless time and time again. Um, I want to thank the judges of the Coin of the Year Award for um, daring to uh, to nominate a, a coin that's different from the norm. Um, we were, like Tom said, very surprised um, to be um, nominated for the crown coin category. Usually, uh, for those of you that know CIT, we're um, usually in the in the technology innovative category. So that was a huge honor and a huge surprise. Um, thanks to the judges. And um, lastly, I of course would like to thank uh, or congratulate all the other winners and especially PowerCoin because it's also a company that I can identify with, that we can identify with, that dares to develop new things um, and, and realize new ideas that, that stand out from the norm. Thank you very much. The inspirational category is a very personal category. Uh, the nominating committee and then the judging panel and everyone who views the coin afterwards has a different opinion of what's inspirational. Uh, oftentimes themes of, of love are, are, as we say in the U.S., a no-brainer. People think, okay, that's great, that's inspirational. Sometimes development of a vaccine or something that has a worldwide impact is inspirational to some. But everyone looks at it differently. This coin comes across, I think, very well in, in its inspiration. I think uh, the design itself carries that feeling of inspired uh, nature directly to you. And I think uh, it was very easy for the nominating panel to, to find the place for, for this coin. Uh, this is a commemorative, obviously, for uh, the Centennial for Boys Town. Uh, which is a children's organization. I'll, I'll let the Mint Director explain more. Uh, but uh, if, if David J. Ryder would come back to the stage again, I hate to make you come twice, but Andrea did it so you can too, uh, and accept this award. Maybe you already noticed something interesting on this coin. Uh, but it's a little girl looking up at a leaf cluster uh, under the word Boys Town. And it's great that, that, in the, in the, that we can focus on uh, the girls and the boys uh, for inspiration. Uh, I do that with my own daughter. Uh, but also as a mint director, uh, I can't do any of this stuff. I can write the checks and I can make the tough decisions and so on and so forth. But I'd like to, if I can, indulge for a second and ask Ron Harrigal to come up here for a minute. Ron is a 33-year employee of the Mint. I've known him for a, a long time. Uh, he was at the Mint when I was Mint Director in 1992. But Ron oversees our chief engravers, the design shop. He just got done uh, designing a whole new uh, engraving shop where we spent quite a few million dollars. Uh, but Ron is the guy who who should deserve the credit for this award or the award before that. So if you don't mind, I'd like Ron to say a couple words uh, on behalf of the, this award and the, and the Mint. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, David. Uh, 32 years. I, I've seen a lot of the people around here come up here a number of times and uh, been coming up to Berlin here for a couple years and been really inspired by it. And of those 32 years, I spent 30 years in Washington, and I finally got the opportunity to get to Philadelphia to really make a difference at the Mint. And these are the kind of things that we can produce. And um, you know, I think when you see some of the things that we're doing today, and that we're gonna take it to the next level, and you'll see that very soon. So thank you very much. We've been able to keep the secret of which coin uh, won the overall coin of the year for uh, quite a bit of time, but once you see your program, of course, you all know now. But here we are. I'm very happy to be able to present this award to the Monet de Perry. I wish uh, Guy Sedoy was here to accept as well. <laughs> but I think he's, he's got better things to do with this afternoon. <laughs> um, so, uh, both of you can come back up, yes? Everyone? That would be wonderful. 
And uh, of course, this is the big honor. So uh, it's a big coin. It's a it's a big honor. Now comes the difficult part. I have to translate you again. <laughs> so I, uh, I will speak English. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Joaquin says he's very happy to be here. <laughs> Monet de Paris is the best mint in the world. <laughs> but uh, and we're very happy to have all these prices today. Yes. Uh, it's fantastic what we can do with a small egg. Extraordinary. You can do on that. Yes, <laughs> also. Thank you. Thank you for all. I'm very proud. Uh, all the team is very proud, too, I think. Thank you for all. But we shall. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I can tell you, we shall never make omelets with our eggs in the <laughs> coins, in Joaquin coins. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to, but we won't make it. No, actually, I'm very happy again to be here. Uh, when you come to Monet de Paris and you don't know the place, you come to understand very quickly that there are two very important men at Monet de Paris. The first one is here, is Joaquin Jimenez, and uh, he is our director for artistic creation, and he's also our chief engraver. Uh, we kept the title of chief engraver among the years, and uh, I think it's a very good thing. And the other very important man, of course, is Guy Savoie because I believe we are the only mint in the world to have a Michelin three-star restaurant within the mint. So I take it as a personal duty and responsibility to go to see the creations of Joaquin and also to test the restaurant. Yes. Yes. So this, thing, this is one of the things I did maybe two weeks after I arrived. I was very lucky to be invited by, by Guy Savoie. And I can tell you something, it's worth it. It's really worth it, so please, come to Monet de Paris to see Joaquin and to see Guy Savoie. Yeah. And the other thing I want to say is um, it's um, this coin, this series of coins, we have different ones, actually is a symbol of, uh, I would say, what France does the best. It's numismatics and gastronomy. So this is all about France. And I'm very happy to receive this prize today. I want to say also, it's a teamwork. It's really a teamwork. So I want to thank all the teams here of Monet de Paris. And in a few minutes, I don't know if it's authorized, but I will ask them to come with us on, this, on the floor, because on the stage, because it's uh, really a teamwork. All the people from Monet de Paris, from the commercial department, from the marketing department, a lot of them are here. here. Uh, director of uh, marketing department is not here with us, but I want to, to say a word. She's Claude Giffin, and uh, the people from the production, the people from the plant. And so thank you to all of them, and please join me to receive the prize. And John Joaquin. <laughs> Stunning coin in, in many, uh, many ways. Uh, I'll tell you a short story I, the year that it was launched. 2017, I went by the Monet de Paris uh, booth, uh, and in the plexiglass square, there sits the coin. And I was just walking along, looking at things, and when I saw that, I stopped, and like a crazy man, I stood there for five minutes with people bumping into me in the tight aisles, staring at that coin, because I couldn't stop looking at it. It's, to me, that magnificent a coin. And uh, with that little bit of an introduction, our final award uh, that we do each year is for Lifetime Achievement in Design. You may think that this is a very nicely put together package, uh, and, and it would be nice to be able to say that it was that, but it's not. It's a completely happen chance. The coins that get nominated get nominated, and the ones that win win, and the process is a very long flowing process. And somewhere along the line, uh, lifetime achievement is something that, that we consider and decide. And I have a kind of a short list uh, in my head all the time as to people I would like to honor for their work in the field. Um, Jacqueline has been on that short list since I met him. Probably 2015 or 2016 here at the show. 
uh, and I was very honored to meet him at the time because so many of his designs I've been uh, really struck with over the years as being uh, really magnificent. Once I began to put together who the one man responsible for a lot of that work was, uh, I had the opportunity to meet him and, uh, and after talking a bit and uh, reviewing some of his work, it, it, uh, it was very clear to me that sooner or later, you would be up here receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award. And so I'd like you to, to come to the stage now and hopefully have a few things to say. I know we've asked you to talk quite a bit today. It's a little emotional for me. Je ne, je ne savais pas euh, que j'allais recevoir ce prix, on me l'a dit ce matin. Et euh, le recevoir de votre part, de la part des professionnels tels que vous, ça me, ça me fait énormément plaisir. J'ai consacré une grande partie de ma carrière à, à travailler des pièces. I'm very happy to, uh, to receive it on behalf of all the professional worlds uh, of coinage. I've been working a, a big, big part of my life in, on the uh, coin design. Et recevoir de votre part donc est un grand, 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 grand honneur. So for me, it's really a great honor. Uh, souvent, on me demande uh, dans, mon, dans mon, mon travail quelle pièce je préfère. I'm, I'm uh, regularly asked uh, in my work uh, which coin is my favorite. And I answer systematically uh, the next one. <laughs> I hope um, there will be many, plenty of next one. And uh, thank you for all. Really, thank you. Until next year in the uh, 37th award, I bid you all uh, safe travels and uh, I congratulate all the winners once more for wonderful work in the coin industry.